Welcome back to my channel, GTR Math Tutorial. So for today's video, uh, we will discuss another uh, algebraic substitution. So try to answer. Uh, so we have integral of 4x plus 3 times square root of 1 plus 2x dx. Okay, so algebraic substitution when the integrand contains fractional powers of a plus bx only. So, our integrand contains a plus bx, powers of a plus bx. So, we use the substitution, z is equal to nth root of a plus bx, or z to the n equals a plus bx. If we get the, if we raise both sides of this expression, of this equation by n. So, we have z to the n equals a plus bx, where n n is the least common denominator of the fractional exponents of a plus bx. Okay, so last time we discussed uh, fractional powers of x only. So this time the, the integrand contains a plus bx. Okay, so same concept. We just uh, uh, use the substitution z is equal to nth root of a plus bx. So let's answer the problem. So we have integral of 4x plus 3 times square root of 1 plus 2x. So, obviously, the, the substitution that we're going to use is z is equal to this term is square root of 1 plus 2x. Okay, so let z is equal to square root of 1 plus 2x. Or similarly, if we square both sides of this expression, we have z squared equals 1 plus 2x. And then, uh, next step is we will uh, we will solve for x. So, if we solve for x, so just uh, subtract 1 to both sides and then divide both sides by 2. So, therefore, the value of x is z squared. We have z squared minus 1 over 2. Then next is uh, we differentiate uh, both sides of this equation or, or get the differential. Differential of x is dx and then the differential of z squared minus 1 over 2 is z dc. So we just uh, distribute the two. So we differential of this. So we have one half z squared minus one half. So derivative of one half z squared is two. So cancel one, one half times two. So that is one. And then subtract one. So we have z squared. So we have z minus one. So z and then dz. Derivative of one half is zero. So therefore dx is equal to z dz. And then next step is we express the integral in terms of z. Okay, so in terms of z. So use the substitution. So we have the value of x. So the value of x is z squared minus 1 over 2. And then one plus, square root of 1 plus 2x. So this will be our z. Square root of 1 plus 2x is yeah, and square root of 1 plus 2x, so that is z. And then dx, so the value of dx is z dz. Okay, so this will be our integral. Okay, so we transform this in terms of z. And then we just simplify this. So 4 divided by 2, so that will give us 2. And then uh, distribute, and then z times z. So this will be z square. Okay, so just uh, simplify. So we have 2 times z squared minus 1 plus 3 times z squared. So uh, distribute the 2. So we have 2 times z squared. So that is 2z squared. And then 2 times negative 1. So that will be negative 2. And then just add this 3. So negative 2 plus 3. So therefore, combine this. So we have integral of 2z squared plus 1 times z squared dz. And then, so just... Uh, Distribute the z squared, distribute the z squared to 2z squared and then to positive 1. So just distribute. So therefore, we have integral of 2z to the fourth plus z squared dz. So now we have direct formula for this. We will just use the uh, integral of u to the n du. So it's in the form u to the n du. So our u is z and then the n is 4 and then 2. So we just move this constant outside the integral symbol. So we have u to the n du equals u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. So apply this direct formula to these two integrals. So therefore, we have 2z to the 4 plus 1. So we have 2z to the 5 over 5 plus 
z squared, so just add one. So we have z cubed over 3 plus c. Okay? So this will be our answer. And then we bring this back to, uh, to in terms of x since the original uh, integral is in terms of x. So the value of z, so we substitute the original value of z is square root of 1 plus 2x. So substitute uh, this term, square root of 1 plus 2x to z. Okay, so therefore we have 2 times uh, square root of 1 plus 2x to the fifth plus uh, over 5 plus square root of 1 plus 2x cubed over 3. So next step, we just simplify this. So we have the different denominator, 5 and 3. So we just, to add, so just cross multiply. Then, so we use the butterfly technique. So just cross multiply. So we have 2 times 3. So that will give us 6 times square root of 1 plus 2x to the fifth plus. So we have 1 here. So 5 times 1. So 5 times square root of 1 plus 2x cubed over 5 times 3. We have 15. And then uh, next step. Next step is we just factor out the common term. So as you can see, we have square root of 1 plus 2x to the fifth and then square root of 1 plus 2x cubed. So we factor out the the lesser uh, value, the exponent, the smaller uh, exponent. So we factor out this square root of 1 plus 2x cubed. So factor out the square root of 1 plus 2x cubed. So we just subtract the exponent 5 minus 3. So 5 minus 3, that will give us 2 and then square root. So therefore, we just, so if we factor out 3, so this will become 2 and then we have square. So we have square of square root. So that will become 6 times 1 plus 2x. Okay, so this will be our uh, factored form. So we factor out the square root of 1 plus 2x cubed. So square root of 1 plus 2x cubed times 6 times 1 plus 2x plus 5 since we factor this out okay all over 15 then final answer so we just uh distribute this so 6 times 1 that will give us 6 and then 6 times 2x that will be give a positive 12x and then plus 5 then combine 6 and 5 so therefore our final answer will be the square root of 1 plus 2x cubed times uh we have 12x plus 11. So 6 plus 5, 11. All over 15 plus C. So that will be our final answer. Or we can express this as rational uh, exponent. Or we can write that as 1 plus 2x raised to 3 over 2 times 12x plus 11 all over 15 plus C. Okay, so that's it. So I hope you learned something from this video and see you on my next uh, video tutorials on integral calculus. So if you have a question, so just comment your question in this uh, channel or in my FB group or you can uh, uh, send a message in my messenger, RJ Enseñado. So bye-bye and God bless.